Weeping Mini Bong! And welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. Now, earlier on this year, in the year of 2021, the team over at Ocular Max released probably one of the best primes going, and that was the Pexus. They've now released this, which is the Optus Nox. To you and I, this is an IDW-inspired nemesis take. I didn't pick up Pexus, and I regretted it so much at the time, but now... Now I'm really happy I didn't pick it up because it left a huge gap in my collection for this bad boy. Let's kick things off as I always do by looking at the box. And the box here is absolutely outstanding. It comes with this oversleeve with some amazing artwork that I spoke about on the news that I do every single Tuesday and Saturday on this channel. But look at this artwork here. Now I got mine directly from Planet Steel Express. Um, I'm not sure if this was uh, exclusive, this sleeve to come in with them, but look at it. Absolutely fantastic, it wraps around uh, and it's by Mastermind Creations. So we know this is MMC or Ocular Max, whichever one we want to talk about. And then the awesome, artwork around the side here fantastic sleeves the sleeve just pops off them and then we get to the mastermind creation reformatted 10th anniversary so we a nice little gold symbol there little sticker and we get the rn48 optus nox we see him in his bot mode here looking pretty nice reformatted uh, and then we get the Little bot mode here at the back. And then on the back of it here, we get all the different variations that you can do. Alt modes, cloak modes, holding the matrix, all kinds of good stuff that's here. Then on the back, we get the face as well. We get the smashed in grill with this one, which is absolutely awesome. And a call back to some earlier topics that we had with Transformers on the side. Field Commander and then Red with a bit more artwork there. So it's another drawing as opposed to uh, anything else. And then at the bottom we get warning, don't eat your children because they have small parts. One thing I will say about this figure as well, and I'll show you some of the st other stuff that it comes with now before we look at the figure itself, is it feels so premium. So we can see from the back of this that this dude has a cloak that we'll show you later on. But the cloak itself comes in this lovely little packet as well. So you just open up that. It's all sealed inside. Feels very, very, very premium. Uh, you also get a little box for the extra head. So if you did get a Pexus earlier on and you want to have this smashed up grill effect in the little box with all the head designs on it, you get one that matches your Pexus. So that, again, this comes in a little packet. Everything is super clean, super cool, super premium. And look at that smashed in grill. Looks outstanding. So if you have a Pexus, which I don't, if you get this, you get the extra head, the extra face plate that you can put on. Or I can put a blue head on my Nemesis. I'm not going to do that. We also get the card the obligatory card that you get with everything. Uh, no bio on this one. Um, just the strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, cast, courage, firepower, and skill. Obviously 10 for the firepower on this. And this is very premium. This isn't just the normal card. This is proper plastic on this one. PVC probably very, very, very cool for the card. We also get some other accessories we'll come to later on. And then we also get this reformatted book here. So this is the destructions and the destructions say everything that it comes with. And then the destructions themselves. Now, the destructions for this one, and I will never, ever, ever for the life of me understand why this happens. But you get this in its bot mode. The destructions go from car mode to bot mode. Third party transformers, creators. 
if you are giving me something in bot mode, start the destructions from bot mode to car mode so I don't have to reverse engineer it. Just makes no sense to me. We also get a slight little look at Hotspot here. So the protector bots are coming very, very soon from Ocular Max. And you can just see for no reason at all, he turns into a base and then also kind of like a, a chicken. I don't know why this reminds me of a chicken. It's probably the legs, but yeah, he also turns into a chicken. First we check the box, then we check the bot inside. So this is Nox aka IDW Nemesis Prime in his alt mode, his more Cybertronian truck mode, and this is pretty fan dabby dozy. I really, really like this. And um, he has most of his accessories actually attached to him in this mode as well. So that's good, apart from his massive sword that I can't seem to attach anywhere. Could probably fit it somewhere in between the back here, but um, would just look a little bit odd. Massive weapons here at the side with huge wheels on the front here. Awesome. The only thing that would have made this better is if this had had rubberized tires. It doesn't. It has the, the plastic tires, but they have gone really nicely with the hubcaps here. None of that little pegs that are in there. So that's good. And um, this is part of the accessory. This is actually part of the, the matrix that just sits here. On the top here, we have two massive cannons that will come off as well. And these are actually his arm cannons uh, that will come off as well. Coming round the back, reclose this together. Uh, we can see it's very, very, very clean. Uh, really nice the way that the exhausts go to the back there. Although I think I would have liked some way for them to kind of move and, and be able to move at the back but that probably would have been impossible and i know that that's how it looked in the idw as well so yeah overall really cool this kind of red translucentness going on there as well um overall very nice very clean transformation was a little bit challenging around the legs i will say um didn't quite do what it needed to do it had to really uh mess around with it a little bit uh, i'll show you a little bit on the transformation it rolls very cool uh ground clearance on this one as there is with a lot of transformers these days you can see this bit here versus where these are you don't get much ground clearance so you really have to make sure that everything is transformed and in the right position to make sure that it rolls the way that it should the only other issue i have is these tabs are fairly weak on this and they will come off kind of at the drop of a hat especially this one for some reason seems to be less than the other one so that's the only kind of downer everything else very secure holds in very tight and it looks it looks great doesn't it i mean that's an impressive looking cybertronian take on prime much better than anything Hasbro's ever given us. Time for the comparison then. And the first comparison we're going to do is with a shattered glass take on Prime from the Earthrise line. So you can see they are fairly similar when it comes to size. This is literally just a nose ahead. Uh, we'll see how they compare size-wise when we get to bot mode. But yeah, he could, he could sit within your Earthrise War for Cybertron line in this mode? I, I, I think so. I think he would fit in very nicely, especially if this dude had his trailer, right? Cause be then next to an MP Prime, there's a big kind of difference height-wise. Length-wise? Oh, length-wise, they're probably about... Whoa, he may just have his feet sticking out a little bit to the side there. So yeah, it's taller but not too much longer. And how do they look on a shelf together? Before and after? Okay, so transformation time for this one. The first thing we do is remove the guns, remove the arm weapon, the arm weapon, and the piece of the matrix, and the piece of the matrix. So that's kind of your, your bare bones vehicle mode that you'll need to get to before you kick off. Then open up this side here, just untaps at the side there and then the same on this side so you've got something that looks a little bit like 
that and gives you some wiggle room. Now that we have the wiggle room, the next thing we're going to do is get these hands out. So we're actually going to kind of bend the bot a little bit here so that it goes like that. And this is where your challenge really is when you're putting it back into the bot mode because you kind of have to, there's not enough room to, to get these two in. So when you're transforming it from bot mode to the vehicle mode, you have to really kind of wiggle around to just make sure that these hands go underneath there. So that's one of the biggest challenges I had transforming it the other way. Now that we have the hands free, we can just untab. So listen to this. There we go. You can hear that tab untabbing nicely. And you've just freed up everything that's going on here. We'll come down the bottom and work on the legs. So separate. And now that the legs are separated, you can then maneuver this out and bring the foot down. And again, on this side, and bring the foot down. So you've got the, the foot, the feet out just like that. We're then going to pull and pull. So you've got the two feet down as well. And then, so now we've got this cool little knee joint here. And this knee joint needs to go into this tab here and this tab here. So bring it up and bring the knee joint in, close off the knee joint, and then angle this. You can push, as long as the knee joint doesn't come out like that, you can push it in and then push this section down. So unless it's already come down itself, and there we go. So what you want is that knee joint to stay in there so that you get that motion. So to bring it forwards again, on this section, bring it out and then connect in, dink, 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 and then down Whoop. on the connector piece to make it all solid. And then this, this section here needs to click down. So just these bits here. So you have two exposed hips, so you need to make sure they're all the way down. The foot, we're now going to fold back on itself so that it kind of sits just there. There we go. So you got your foot and then the same on the other side. Just rotate this back so that it sits in there. And we've pretty much done the legs then. Then these two sections here just pop down here. Yep. Yeah. And then again, just pop down to create the hips. Be careful again when you're doing the transformation the other way. Just in here, it is on a, a quite secure bar, but mine did pop out while I was doing the transformation on this side. So just be very careful of that when you are doing the transformation. Swivel the whole thing round and push it down. And there we go. You can start to see him really starting to come together nicely. Coming around the side, we untap and these rotate out. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this. All of the arms are also tabbed in here, so you can now untab and untab the arms and bring them out a bit. Then just pull this section back and push the head through. So you've got his smashed up grill coming out the top there and position this round the back. Next up, section one and section two here. Just grab them and pull them forwards. So they just come a little bit forward. You'll hear them untap, and then they'll just make that front of the chest a little bit smoother. Round the back, rotate this section around so it comes, so it comes under like this, and then that'll sit there just on that double hinge. Then round the back here, we're just gonna bring the wheels up and then fold it down. And then the same on this side, fold this section down. We'll use those again later on. Then push the whole thing down. And then this section just kind of closes in underneath here to form the body. Then finally, we've got the arms. Just rotate them out and round and then bring the hand down to there. And then the same again on this side, pull it out and then kind of work it around like this and 
rotate the hand around and then these side sections here as well they should be just up here so he's kind of got this thing going on and then you can bring those around where they already are actually because they just moved during the transformation so he should have his his big 80 shoulder pads on full display and you should have something that looks a little bit like that with that section facing forward Beautiful. So before we add all of his awesome accessories to him, let's check out this dude without all of his accessories and see what he looks like. And I think you'll agree, he's a thing of beauty. This is an absolutely amazing take on the IDW Prime, especially when we check a look in at that grill. That head sculpt there is perfection. So this head sculpt is absolutely something else. And you can see Prime's lips all the way through the grill that's been battle damaged. And it's just a fantastic head sculpt. Quite possibly the best head sculpt now in my collection. Mastermind Creations have done a fantastic job with this. As we move down the body, we see the, the awesome awesome chest piece here uh, that looks great but has a bit of a has a bit of an issue when it comes to getting the matrix out which we'll discuss later on um abs on this dude optimus prime to the extreme awesome looking crotch on this dude as well and i just love the legs and this connector here for the um articulation is just a thing of beauty as well i also really like the pipes on the legs in this instead of always being on his back and being on there something a little bit different on the back clean 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 but i do wish there was some detail in here i know that this is what becomes the bottom um his bottom becomes the bottom when it's driving so they couldn't put too much there but i would have liked to have seen something it just looks a little bit plain compared to everything else and a little bit of forgotten about but it's things like this that's the detailing on this that you've got these little bars here when the arm extends out so when it's like that you don't see it but then when the arm extends out you really see the bits that are extending the arms and stuff it's absolutely phenomenal Articulation on this dude then, as you can expect, is pretty damn good. On the head, you're going to get a full 360 and all the way up and then all the way down. On the arm, you'll get another full 360 here. Rotates up all the way out there as well. So many points of articulation. You'll get a double extension on the arm as well. And like I said, you get that awesome detail in there as well on the elbow. On the hand, you'll get a full rotation on the hand due to the transformation. And then you'll also get fully articulated, posable fingers. Each finger has one, two, three points of articulation on each hand. So you can do whatever you want. He also has the tabs there for the sword and the guns and all kinds of stuff as well. Uh, you'll get a really nice extension here on the abs so you'll get a nice extension on there so you'll get some great ab crunch you'll also get some twist pivots from side to side as well and you'll get a pretty decent yeah you'll get a full 360 there as well just about get the clearance for that one the legs you've got some flexors here so that you can get the legs to move out they're on very nice strong ratchets on the legs you will get all the way to the front but unfortunately you won't get all the way to the back because this doesn't move so you get this little flexor here at the front but you won't get all the way to the back you will get all the way to the side you'll get some rotation at the thigh you'll get that awesome knee bend with the joint there that looks pretty damn cool and then you'll also get some pivot here and some little toe articulation there as well so highly highly posable very interesting that you can't get it all the way to the back um yeah very odd that they've kind of done a little bit of a miss there i guess so before we get him fully weaponized up with all of his accessories something i want to show you now is how you get to the matrix on this dude because this dude has a matrix which is pretty cool in itself but it's really really challenging to get to so the first thing you have to do 
is you have to move the wheels here at the back all the way out to the side to allow the arms to come up and pivot around like that. Then you need to push both of these sections back to where they were for the transformation sequence and then you can remove the matrix. Now I know the matrix has to get passed from leader to leader when he's dead but come on this is this is a little bit unusable uh, as, a, as a figure for me. I do think that that's a little bit of a miss that they did. You then get the Matrix out, which is pretty cool, by using this little lever here. And it just pops out there. So let's have a little look. It sits in on that tab very nicely. Tabs in. Maneuver all of that down again. And then we have the Matrix here, which is a nice little purple matrix and then we bring in these sections that we had before that was stuck on the car itself and then we can connect these in so these connect in via a hole here and a hole here so there and there there we go and the other side bring it in and connect in and connect in so there's the matrix so that right there would actually be one of my only complaints about this figure. The fact that they seem to have forgotten that you may want to have him opening his chest while he's in this mode rather than having to bend his arms around and everything. Uh, the hands themselves will grip the Matrix. So you can also grip the Matrix because of these gr super grippy hands and he looks pretty awesome while he's holding the thing. All right, so now let's get him all suited and booted. So the first thing we have are these guns that sit very nicely on each one of the hands to give him that awesome look there. This is definitely a cool look. I love Prime with some cannons on his side. He also has these guns, and these guns kind of connect together, but they just untap there and there. And then they have these connector pieces here so that he can grip it in his hand. So we can have his gun position them correctly <laughs> position the fingers correctly to slide it kind of between the two there we go so you can see you can kind of hold a gun you see you can hold both guns as well so he's got this kind of gun look which is nice these guns also extend out like that as well but the look I would tend to go for with this figure is this. So first of all, rotate this section up here and rotate this section up here. And then you'll have this little tab here so that you can slide this one in. There we go. And then also slide this one in right here. And that, that's the look I would tend to go for on this figure. Let's move this back a little bit. So that he has these kind of gun turrets on his back. Like that, leaving his hands free for his awesome laser. I think that looks really, really cool. You can also position them further back as well to give him that more classic kind of smokestack look as well. So this head, as I've already said, is absolutely phenomenal, but this is not the only faceplate that it comes with. It does actually come with a more standard Optimus Prime head, so you can attach that if you really wish to. For me, it's a bit boring, right? Absolutely boring. But what we are going to do, though, is we're going to remove the heed, which is on a little screw at the back, because now we need to attach something that is super cool and is actually one of the main reasons that I got this figure or wanted to get this figure. So if I just unscrew his head, it's just on one little tiny screw here. I'll remove the old head itself. You can see that the head is just on a, on a ball joint there. So we can also just put the Optimus Prime head on if we want. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the cloak. So the first thing you're going to need is this piece here. So this is the top of the cloak. This clo piece of the cloak will just sit on here as a kind of a, a bit of a neck ruffle. 
But the cloak itself, if I bring it out, here we go. So we take it out of that beautiful pack that it came in. It's a fully wired cloak. So you're going to be able to also pose the cloak kind of how you want to make it look like it's for wrapping off into the wind and looking like he's on some wind-swept Cybertronian different planet. It's really, really cool. So you can see the way that it will bend in all directions. Uh, I'm just going to lay it on here like that and then the kind of neck ruffle will just go on the top here and then once i've sorted out the neck ruffle and the cloak i can then reattach the heed so let's go ahead and now reattach his head so off camera i had to reattach that because there was no way i was able to get that back on and <laughs> film at the same time but you can see now that the neck ruffle is on and this is all on this cloak is awesome so i can maneuver the cloak kind of however i want to make him look as windswept as i want all the way around there really cool wires that are going on make it really <laughs> awesome absolutely love it this is such a great feature for this nemesis prime fantastic cloak not too heavy for itself you can pose the cloak you can pose him gives him a kind of vampire look to him as well probably even more than the the dracula that hasbro released very recently as well actually so yeah, kind of cross between maybe a vampire and a cowboy, right? Maybe this is also like a poncho flowing in the wind. Yeah, vampire or cowboy? Let me know down in the comments. And last but not least, to put the finishing touches to this dude, he comes with his sword and not just any sword this is a massive mega red sword that this dude comes with awesome again peg here so that it can fit in it's got that kind of purple matrix in there as well and translucent red tips very cool finishing touches to this awesome awesome prime into the hand it goes and then we will get our finished look on this prime and he is yeah he is he is something to behold just an outstanding take on an idw nemesis prime all cloaked up ready for battle in a western town or a transylvanian castle who knows Okay, so time for the comparison, and we'll start off again with an Earthrise take on Prime. So, so we can see he's a bit taller than an Earthrise Prime, and if we bring in your MP Prime, he's shorter than an MP Prime, so he's somewhere in between. So, yeah, difficult to know where to put him in your collection, right? So, final thoughts on this dude, and would I recommend him? Hell yeah. He's very new to my collection and instantly is one of my favorite primes in my entire collection. Other than the little issue with the matrix and how to get it in and out, I have zero complaints about this dude whatsoever. I can see why everyone was so enamored with Pexus. I personally am glad I waited because Nox, for me, knocks the socks off Pexus from what I've seen awesome figure congratulations to mmc and ocular max team ending the year for me on a personal high one of the best figures of the year and in fact when i come to do my top five or top ten depending on how many i decide to do this year mmc might actually have two figures within that that's all from me today on this figure let me know your thoughts on this dude down in the comments and i'll see you in my next video all right guys in a bit peace